this is code.org let's see what we're working on uh we're continuing with this project if you don't have this you need to go back and do these other portions all right player controls the up arrow should make the player jump there are three parts to jumping jump up got it when a key is pressed go down that would make sense when you're high enough and don't fall through the ground that makes sense Find the code comment for slash slash jumping. Slash slash is a comment in JavaScript. That means it's readable for us, but it doesn't show on the screen. It's just for the programmer, so you can make notes and stuff. And read the three comments in that section. All right. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Did I miss it? Nope. If the player has reached the ground, stop moving down. Okay. So... Add a conditional that checks whether the player has pressed the up key. And don't let that scare you. A conditional is an if. That's what they're asking. If the player is if the up key is pressed, use velocity y property to change the player frog sprite moving up. Alright, so we're gonna ask a question and if a conditional right here. So if the player has reached the ground weight. If the player has pressed the up arrow. So if now in world, I'm looking for key down or key went down is pressed. So that would be key down. Key went down means I touch up once, let go, and I still go up forever. Key down means I would be holding it down. Hmm, key went down might actually be a better option. We'll take another look at this as we're doing our if statements. Um, yeah, but so if the up key is currently down, this would be true. So if key down is true. Only if this is true would the code inside of this blue mouth thing run. If this is false, I'm not holding the up key, I'm holding the space bar, whatever. If this is false, the computer says false, up key is not run down, and it would not run this code inside. That would make me jump. Okay, and then to jump, it says change the y velocity. That would make sense. Let me head over to sprites. Sprite.y velocity, I'm going to drag into my if. Now, for velocity, keep in mind, watch y right down here, or I could even hit reset. So y is 296 right there. Now I'm way up here. Y is 86. Y is 27. Now at the bottom, Y is 372. So to move upwards, it's kind of strange, but Y is getting smaller. That would mean we need a negative velocity. I'm going to start with one just to test it out. This is yellow because it's saying, hey, you don't have a sprite, right? We have variables. I named my sprite player. That's my robot. I just named it player for the variable name. So that means I have to put player down here so the computer knows what it's moving. Let's hit run and test. I'm going to hit up. Ooh, that's kind of slow for a jump. So maybe I'll do negative four. That's all right. I think I'm going to do negative five and let's see what's next. All right. Add the control, right? So a con oh, add a conditional that uses the sprite's y property to check whether it is high enough. If it is far enough up the screen, start moving back down. Right, so the player shouldn't go up forever. Uh, we're not launching them into space. We need to push it back down. So start moving the sprite back down if it is up the if it is far enough up the screen. So this is going to be somewhat trial and error. Since its sprites are drawn from their center, I'm going to say something like, a eh, 100's too low. I might start with 50-50. I might start with 80-80, actually. So if the up key is pressed, I cannot do an else here because that would override my if. I need a separate if if the player reaches the top of the screen, and I will put it here. If I put an else if under this, it would only check where the player was if up key wasn't being held down. If I hold up key down and there's an else if, it would still just be true here. I'd keep moving up and it would never look at the else if. That's why I need a second if to check if they hit the top of the screen. How can I check that? Well, their y value. So if, um, let's go to math, I'm going to use less than. I could use equals equals, but sometimes it will miss just that exact pixel. It's safer to use less than. Now my sprite, so player was my sprite, dot y, and less than... If their y value is less than, I'm going to start with 80 and see how that looks. And what would I want to do? Well, I would want to change the velocity to be positive because you want to add to y if you're going to push them downward. So player dot y, uh, velocity y, I'll say 5. I'll move at the same speed. Now, keep in mind also, code runs in order. This if is up here and this if is beneath it. 
because we don't care if they're holding the up key if they're at the top of the screen. It is too bad. Now, I wonder if key went down would be a better choice. So at this point, the reason I'm thinking that is if they hold the up arrow down, they would stay at the top of the screen. I'll add an if statement, a conditional, that will prevent this either way, but they would just stay at the top of the screen. So if the key went down, their velocity is negative five, otherwise this. So let's give this a shot. Oh wait, add a conditional is low enough on the screen to be on the ground. It is far enough down the screen. All right, first let's see if this works. I'm gonna hit up, bam, Wah! and I fall forever. So key went, key down would work, but it, there's a cheat because they could just hold it. All right, so now add a conditional to check if the sprite is low enough. Okay, we need to check if the sprite is low enough. If the player has reached the ground, stop moving down. All right, so how could we do this? Let's go ahead and put an if. And where did I start my player at? My player, I started for a y value at 250. So down here, I'm going to say if player dot y is greater than 250, right? We don't want them to be below that. So what would I do? Well, I should make their velocity zero, but we're about to run into problems. We're going to say you can't move if you're greater than 250 for y. But watch. Uh, space, I mean, up, bam, bam. The problem for this right now, though, is if I hit up, I'm going to hit up again. I'm going to hit up again. I'm going to hit up again, right? It's kind of a cheat in a way. Boom, 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 right? And we want to prevent that. So stop moving down. How we could do this is for me, I'm not going to uh, allow them or I'm not going to care if they hit up if they're not currently on the ground. So if the player's Y value is greater than 250, if they're currently on the ground, then I'll care, right? Then I'll say, okay, you're currently on the ground. So if you're currently on the ground and you hit up key, then I will allow you to go up. Else, if you're currently on the ground at all other times, you should have a velocity of zero. But if you hit up, your velocity can be negative four. The second they lift up off the ground, they are no longer y value is greater than 250. They're no longer down here. So it won't matter that they press up until they go all the way to the top. Once they're all the way at the once they're all the way at the top, they're less their y value is less than 80 and it pushes them back down up until their y value is greater than 250, their velocity would be zero until they hit up again. It's a bit confusing, but this should be what we need. Oh, and I start at 250, so I'm going to say 249, because that won't work, because he's at 250 right now. Boom. Boom. And watch, I can't hit up again. Keep in mind, because of how this is set up, let's test it out like this. Key down, key went down. It will actually work either way at this point, because I'm only allowing or caring. I can hold it up. But I'm really only caring or letting them hit up or or move the player up if, 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 if they are at this point. So either of these keys work, I'm going to continue onward with key went down, but both will work. Cool. So I think we have our three conditionals for that. If player starts moving, press. I'm going to move this comment for clarity right here. If player reaches the top, start moving down. And then if player reaches the ground, stop moving. So if player reaches the ground, that's that if. I want to move these around to be right over what does what. If player reaches the ground, that's this. If player reaches, presses the up arrow, that's this. Else, stop moving. If, yep, perfect. So this is one of the more confusing parts of it, but having this down, we're going to make a really awesome game. Let's keep going.